Americans, we have to unite. Obama is really going to give us health care, whether you want it or you don't want it. He's now announcing that he'll he'll pass this health care with a 51 Senate vote, you know, one way or the other. We're going to get it. So what we got to get that boy is we got to send that boy our junk email, our junk letters, our junk that you don't want. Send it to Obama. Now, if you want to mail something to the president telling him how much you hate him and everything, fine. Feel good feel good, good about it. Here's the web, 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 website from the White House. It's 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Northwest, Washington, D.C., 20500. That's the White House address. Send all your trash and your junk mail to him. Let him know how you feel. He needs to know. Fill up his mailbox. The other thing is, you can call. They have a comment line, 202-456-1111, or ask to get to the switchboard. That's 202-456-1414. Give them a call. Let them know how you feel. Because if you don't call, they're going to think, hey, you know, you really want this. You know, they're going to say, we're going to give it to you. So before they give it to you, you've got to give it to them. You know, give them a call. Let them know. Send them, your, send them some mail. Give them, you know, it doesn't matter what mail you give them, they're not going to read it anyway, so send them some trash. Who gives a hell? A who, you know? So give them a call, and, you know, or, or give them a, you know, a letter, or give them an email, or send them something. You know, let's get her going, because, you know, we got to defend our rights. They certainly aren't going to do it for you. They're going to tax and spend, and they're going to have unlimited amounts of taxing power when they get on to you. So thank you very much. We're here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. I'm Bill Hurst doing the photography. I own the uh, Highland Hill Farm. And this is Mike Lewis of Lewis Wholesale Nursery. Mike is one of the premier growers that we use here at Highland Hill Farm. We also grow a lot of arborvitas, but we, we uh, are supplied by Mike. He's right across the street from our nursery and our, our operation. And Mike is, is an expert on raising arborvitas. Mike went and graduated from the Longwood School in uh, uh, Chester County, Pennsylvania, and he's a, a premier grower in Pennsylvania, world-renowned grower. Now, I shouldn't say that, but that is the truth. Everyone in the northeast Pennsylvania and the uh, eastern seaboard who raises arborvitas and, and nursery stock knows Mike Lewis here, so he's well-known, and he's going to talk to you today about arborvita trimming and how to trim them properly. And these are small arborvitas, a zebrina, green giant, and an emerald green. Okay, Mike. All right. What you want to do with your arborvitae is, when you prune them, you want to encourage them to have a single stem. Just one stem coming up out of the middle, like right here. What you want to do is knock back some of these extra stems. Here in the Northeast, we get a lot of wet, heavy snow, and if you have too many stems, they have a tendency to pull apart. Most of the time, they'll spring back, but sometimes you might get some breakage. So what we like to do is take the head shears and knock these tips back just a little bit, which will encourage a fuller, fatter plant, as well as keeping it up into a single stem. In school, we were always taught, when in doubt, cut it out. So you always want to, don't be afraid to take a little bit of, of foliage off the tree. Here, none of these plants' branches will come up into a single stem anymore, or into a multiple stem. You cut them back, this stem will dominate. Here on the Green Giant, we're going to do the same thing. Just This is a fairly full plant, so we're just going to tip it back all the way around to make a nice fat heavy plant. On green giants you get a lot of vigorous growth so you always want to make sure you just knock your tips back just a little bit because they'll stretch out because they grow so fast. On the emerald greens it's a much fatter fuller plant so you don't have to shear them nearly as hard. Just tip them back go around the plant and again you have a couple little stems developing here. Just trim it back so you just have one stem coming up to the top and that'll make a nice full plant, which is what you want. Okay. That's it. Have a good day at Highland Hill Farm. Okay. Thank you very much, Mike. We'll see you.